Faithians, Faith City Central. Woo! New name. Who this? Who this? It's you. It's us. So exciting. Welcome back to the pre-show with MK Ginge. That's me. And I am so excited to be with you guys today. If it's your first time and you are with us virtually, make sure to write something in the comment section because we want to know that you're there. And if it's your first time and you are with us in person, make sure to do something with your body. Wave your hands. I don't know. Jump up and down. We want to be able to hug you and let you know that we are so excited that you are with us. Also, shout out to our eCampus partners. We love y'all. Listen, like I always say, you add to the experience of this service. There are so many other places you could be. You decided to be with us. We are excited. Listen, speaking of excitement, these last two weeks, I mean, whoa, the stretch conference was amazing. Super Seed Sunday was amazing. I'm going to talk more about that a little later. Got some other special things coming up for you guys as well. But listen, it's important to be connected to the right house, the right voice, and be in the right soil for your life, especially as we close out this year. That's true, isn't it? Yes, it is. But listen, we got a great show coming up, but you guys know how we like to start. Your first video is coming right up. We'll be right back with a special guest. Preston said when he was younger, he got baptized because somebody else wanted him to do it. And today he is getting baptized because he has decided to do it in line with his own personal salvation. So we are excited for Brother Charles Preston Amen. today. And Brother Charles, we can't dip you in water, but we're going to pour a bottle of a water over you and just acknowledge that you have been baptized in the body of Christ. Go ahead, Brother D. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. amen. All right. Okay, so, I y'all, let's we get a man of God in videos ever. Just for you, as a matter of fact, Josh sent me that video, and I just <laughs> want to say I'm grateful we don't do baptisms like that here. But amen. God bless that church. Like I said, I have a special guest with me today. Can you guys please give it up for the amazing Curtis Jones, the trombone player thank to the you, stars? Thank you. <laughs> Her, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're very booked and busy. Hey, so you I know, sure hey, you we blessed. Oh, blessed and busy. Blessed okay, and busy. Blessed yeah, and busy. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> so you was able to cut through the schedule for us. A little bit. Just oh, a little a bit. Li yeah, okay, I got a little small. Got, well, we're great. Then the jet. I got to get back on the jet. Got to get back on the okay. jet. Got you. So let's, you know, move as quickly as possible. But Curtis, we're both church kids. We both grew up in Definitely. church. Definitely. That baptism was wild. The water? Why, yeah, the, this? It's a bottle of water for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you saw it, you said, is that it? Is yeah, that, I'm like, else? you want him to be dumped? That would be a little cold, wouldn't yeah. it? Just oh, right on, only on the back only? Yeah, that's all they had. <laughs> so they're using what they had. I guess hey, that's, a, that's hey. a good thing, right? God honors it. God, amen. There you go. There you go. There you God go. honors it. So <laughs> listen, Curtis, I want to know, and the people want to know, sure. how long have you been connected to the ministry? I've been here four years now. Four it's been four years since 2020. Years. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So it's been uh, it's been amazing. It's been an amazing journey to see how things have uh, you know progressed and things have mm -hmm. changed over the pandemic. But mm -hmm. it's been pretty cool. Mm -hmm. it's been you know, cool. everybody points you out. You're the Oh yeah, yeah, cool yeah, yeah, cool yeah. It's me. Thing. It's me. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I love it. You're like a rock star for Jesus. Oh man, yes, that's rock star that's, for that's, Jesus. That's, that's, uh, okay. Speaking of that, I learned um, just from you know knowing you that you mm. were a youth pastor. You've been yes, I was two ministries. Correct? Yeah, yeah, I was, I was. That's yep, awesome. yeah, that's yeah, really, yeah. Really cool. I really enjoy serving. Oh, definitely, look at definitely. That. Look at that. Yeah. Shout out to your beautiful wife, Erica. Hey, and baby. Your son, Oscar. Hey, little man. I wanted him to bring. Y'all seen Oscar before? We may put a picture up, but y'all. I've seen him before, but dad said that he was my fur baby. You know, he wouldn't make it through the car ride. So we nah, just, he wouldn't, he wouldn't okay, make the car okay, ride. Okay, gotcha. Oh, All right. And also, Kurt, you're not just here with us on Sundays and throughout the week. Mm -hmm. You are on the road yes, with yes, Bay City yes. Music. Pastor Tim takes you everywhere. Yes, he does. Yeah, with your flashy <laughs> trombone. Who has a sparkly, <laughs> crystallized? What, yeah. what is explain that trombone? So it's a trombone um, I got custom made. We got it custom made for the Stella Awards. And we've been we've been taking it around. It's been a big uh it's been a big deal. Yeah. It really has. Yeah, I heard yeah, your yeah. rates change on the trombone. Oh, yeah, yeah, it went from here to way up here. <laughs> so when they 
the fancy one, they're going to pay the fancy one. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. But you. that goes to the church. Oh. It goes directly to the church. Does it? Yeah, I'll yeah, follow yeah. up on that when the cameras are off. <laughs> um, anyway, you don't just play the trombone. You're also on Pastor Tim's creative team. Yes, yes. And you're also involved in wardrobe. Yeah, I yeah. I call him yeah, all the yeah, time. Pastor Tim yeah. gives us a vision. Me and Kurt like, okay, what you think about this? Should we mm -hmm. do this? Because we like to represent. We right, like to represent. We like to put it on. There you go. We like we to put it on. To, yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Serve the Lord and still look great. Absolutely. Yeah, I Absolutely. think our pastors do a great job of that. They do. They do a, a fantastic Dr. job. Dan, yeah, Pastor yeah. Mike. Yes. Absolutely. So, I want to know a teaching or, or a word that you have heard here that okay. has had major impact on oh, your wow. life, you and your wife's life. Please share that. Um, with systematic you. righteousness. Yeah, that series was uh, absolutely amazing. That was like my first real series with Pastor Mike uh, when I first got to the church. And it, like, it was life changing for us. Wow, it really was. So, amazing. yeah. And I heard you sharing with Pastor Tim about your experience for your first super season. Yes. How, that how was did you crazy. feel being in that environment? Matter of fact, Kurt, I heard we have raised over. Three million wow. dollars. Wow! Wow! On Sunday, yeah. some individuals will still be, still be sewing. Good. Yes, yeah. and so the yeah. number is going to go beyond that. We have gone beyond the, the, mm -hmm. the goal that we had. Mm -hmm. I mean, the environment was like. Oh my God! It's electrifying. Yes. Yeah, it was electrifying. It was so life changing. It was such a soul moment. Wow. I felt like wow. hearing the testimonies of people that were giving. They might have gave a little a few years ago, and now they had a whole lot to give, which was absolutely phenomenal to see the blessings in people's lives. So For yeah, sure. it was Did really good. Did you dope. see the excitement? Of oh those, my goodness! Like I said, they they started here and they were excited to say, "I mm -hmm. trusted God for this, mm -hmm. and I was able to do it." Absolutely, yeah, it was Man, phenomenal. It was an amazing was. Yeah. service. You had to be there. Well, listen, Kurt, um, are you going to come back if we invite you? Sure, okay. sure, I'll come back. I'll make some time. Uh, okay. I'll make some time. Okay, well, next time we want Oscar. <laughs> We're going to bring Oscar next time. We're yes. going to make sure he's here. He's set up, get him right here in the middle. Uh, Let him set up, you know. Okay. That's I my guy. That's my little wait. guy. Well, thank you for being with well, us, Well, thanks for having sir. me. Thanks All for right. having me. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, it's almost time for service. That is mm -hmm. why we are right. here. Make sure that you eat something so you can focus. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll get on your diet next time. Oh, yeah, this we'll talk about it next time. This guy is such a clean eater. Yeah, Whatever yeah, yeah. you need to do to stay focused, get something in your stomach, make sure you got your pen, mm -hmm. your pad out, your Bible. It's time for the word. Hey. But we're going to start off with an amazing worship experience from Faith City Music. Woo. Love you guys, and see you next time. Free show with MK Ginge. Hey. See ya.
Now, I heard that 8 o'clock was the sleepy service. Is that true? You sure? Y'all gonna prove me wrong to this morning? All right, do I have anyone who's genuinely excited to praise and lift up the name of Jesus this morning? Hallelujah. All right, so just join us. Everybody clap.
the name of Jesus is lifted high in this place. this morning I said do we believe that the name of Jesus is the only name is the only name worthy of being exalted is the only name being worthy of praise do we believe that hallelujah hallelujah we're just gonna continue to exalt the name of Jesus so wherever you are in your own tongue in your own melody in your own way just begin to exalt his name we don't need music to be able to worship we don't need music to be able to praise the name of Jesus. So wherever you are, just begin to lift him. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we bless your name. We say you are worthy. We say you are holy. You are magnificent. You are excellent. You are perfect in all of your ways. And we've come to worship you this morning. Thank you, Jesus.
Proctor and I have your announcements. And guess what? It's still October, so you know what? It's still the month of perfection. But before we dive into our announcements, we have to celebrate. We have to celebrate. So if it is your birthday or your anniversary, stand up and do your dance, do your dance, whatever that looks like, right? But we want to celebrate you. So happy birthday, happy anniversary. And if you're joining us online, type a B into the chat for your birthday and an A for anniversary. Oh, I have a question for you. If it's your birthday, what would your age be if you didn't know your age? Oh, think about that. Just think about that. But happy birthday and happy anniversary. Pull out your cell phones. You've got to get the announcements because an engaged person always receives more. So pull out your cell phone right now and capture the announcements. All right, all right, so listen. First timers, we've been waiting for you. If this is your first time joining us here at Faith City Central, that's right. We want to love up on you. We want to acknowledge you, so please stand up right now. Stand up, stand up. You hear all those cheers? Those are just for you because we knew you were coming. So we are so excited about your attendance on today. Make certain that you grab your gift because that's right, we have a gift for you. We knew you were coming. So if you did not grab it coming in, make certain that you grab your gift prior to leaving on today. Thank you so much, and you may have your seat. So this is the last week, the last week to use the hashtag, hashtag FCC Perfection 30. That's right. If you have a point that captured your attention, a major takeaway, or if you want to post a selfie, do that and please use the hashtag on all of your social media platforms. We want to connect with you there. Oh my word. Visionaries Sunday. Ooh, it was absolutely magnificent. We laughed, we cried, we danced, we sold our seeds. Let me tell you, we shut the place down. We shut it down. It was absolutely phenomenal. And I just have to shout out our events committee. Thank you all so much for everything you did to make that event absolutely memorable because it was. So congratulations on 30 years and several more years to come. Ladies, remember, this is the month breast cancer awareness to schedule your appointment for your examination. This is the last week, so make certain that you get your appointment scheduled, and men, you as well. Queens in Transition, grades 6 through 12. Registration begins on Sunday, November the 5th. It's only $75. You can register in REM. 
Hey, listen, you have to join Women Walking in the Word. Yes, they have a new book that they're reading. Here it is, Disrupted Thinking by Bishop T.D. Jakes. And remember, just last week, Pastor shared during Bible study that the biggest house always have the biggest library. So make certain that you join the book club. On Facebook, it's www.focusfaith, and we look forward to you joining us. We're going cruising. We're going cruising July the 13th through the 18th. Guess where we're going? We are going to Cozumel, Mexico. You have to say it like that. It's Mexico and Coco Bay, Bahamas. It's going to be amazing. So grab your families because GGG is taking over the ship and we want you to be a part. So join us virtual or either in person for our next Bible study Wednesday at our Be More campus. We look forward to seeing you there. So remember to scan the QR code for the announcements. And before we close out, I want you to remember this. If you aren't willing to stretch, no one can help you. However, if you are determined to stretch, you are unstoppable. Welcome to the Stretch Zone. Hallelujah. Woo! Is it all right if we praise the name of Jesus one more time? Y'all don't look like you want to praise God this morning. I'm going to need you guys to convince me. I said, is it all right if we praise God one more time? All right, that sounds a little better. Let's go. All right, we're going to do this one together, all right? So let everything.
everything. I said, let everything, everything that have breath, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come here, come here, Sinai. This young lady. This is uh, Elder, oh, you already know. <laughs> Dr. Maunda, oldest daughter. Amen. She went away to Berkeley. Uh, yeah, did very well in school. Uh, wasn't you uh, like uh, soon? No? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, you would have remembered that. <laughs> but graduated with honors. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Didi and I were talking about this in the back. Are you, are you back home officially? Almost. Next month. Next month. She's coming back. Officially, yes. next month, and will be hired here to be a part of so many different areas of ministry, youth area, worship area, just, just a multi... Woo, Jesus. And, and, and I, what are you doing back here today? Oh, 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 because he was going to be out. <laughs> yeah. And you, you are Pastor Timothy's replacement. <laughs> Maybe it can be indefinite. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for Faith City Music. <laughs> this, this is, the, I, I need my microphone uh, a lot better than I have it. This is, of course, the day that the Lord has made. It, it appears as a lot of you uh, decide to come back this Sunday, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. Um, I've been trying to figure out whether or not we are going on one year old or 31. Thirty-one and one. What what are we now? Do you do you start over Faith City Central? No. no. So, so we're gonna be thirty and one. Okay, I'm clear. Uh, turn to your neighbor. Say happy thirtieth uh, anniversary. Anniversary. And. Not plus one yet. Next year, okay, I'll let you know. Uh, I'm lost. Have a seat. Um, I, I am, um, I'm still all messed up about last week. And uh, give, me, give me my chair, because I'm going to sit here a while. I'm, I'm not giving Give me my chair. Get Dr. Didi a chair, too, if she chooses to use it. She can. Uh, but I yeah, last week got all of us. That was. Thank you, sir. That was beautiful. Uh, is that higher than this one? Are you certain? Yes, sir. I don't want her above me. I'm never above you. Um, I was telling her about um, learning how to embrace uh, her uh, mistakes a little better in life, and uh, she turned around and she turned around and gave me a hug. Okay. That was cute. That was not cute. That was not. 
That was nice. That was a mess. That was funny, though. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I'm um, going to use that. That's what I call it. Cut it out. Cut it out. He told me I need to embrace my mistakes. <laughs> and I gave him a hug. <laughs> People are going to crack up. I promise you I'm going to use that one. Um... How can I say thanks for all you've done for me? Things. Cannot compare. I got, I got it from here, Sonya. I got it. <laughs> My gratitude. <laughs> no, I, 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 I owe it all to, to Jesus. So. I wanted the celebration to continue. I thought I got it all out of my system Wednesday at noon. But um, I want to celebrate a little while longer. Yeah. And, and I have some things that I have, yeah, to God. What, what, what? I, I'm, I'm just like in a million and one places right now with respect to. The goodness of God. If, if, if all of us would simply take time out to reflect on how good he has been. Some of the things you are so concerned and consumed with would not have the attention or impact that it has. If, if, if you'll just think about his goodness, if you'll just think about the love of God and how great and grand and good I don't know about you, but he has exceeded all of my expectations. Every single one of them. I attended uh, a dear friend of mine, uh, Pastor James Sturdivant. His mother uh, went to be with the Lord last week. And um, they uh, were celebrating her life, a life of 101 years old. And, and the excitement that was expressed unto God. Of course, now, that's your mother and that touch and that nurturing and that love and that voice and that companionship and, and, and just that guardians is, 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 will always be missed. But how could you not just reflect on, man, God gave that woman and all of her children 100 and one year of love. It, it, no one said it was perfect. 
No one said it was all good, but 101, turn to your neighbor and say, I will take 101 any day. Go ahead and turn back and say, I'll take 100. Shoot, 99 and a half will do for me. You want 102. Okay, take whatever you want. Um, and then left there and went to my um, cousin's funeral. And, and I'm, I'm sitting in both of these places on yesterday, and I'm thinking about how much we take one another for granted. Uh, these memorial services and life celebration services should be sobering reminders that tomorrow isn't promised for any of us. Look at somebody and say, you better take advantage of me while you have me. No, I'm talking about in a good way. Tell, tell them in a good way. Pardon? Yeah. So, you know, sometimes, like this morning, you would just want to, or I would just want to, like, Hit the pause button. And let's just slow this thing down. And let's not just have business as usual. Let's, let's, let's just reflect. Let's just thank God. Let's just love God. Let's just love each other. Let's just spend some time sitting back and talking about his, his goodness. Amen. Okay, get, 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 get. Get, uh, get rid of some of the logistics that you have to cover. Oh, I don't know what you're about. Yeah, there was something you have to, because they told me something about John P. Key being here. I love myself some John P. Key. He's going to be here Friday, November the 3rd. This Friday? That's this Friday at 7 p.m., but it's going to be at the Brandywine campus for a um, new album release. He's doing this whole thing throughout the country. And he's a good guy. Oh, I, I was looking for uh, Brother Reggie. Uh, he and Reggie are good friends. I was riding with our Brother Reggie one time, and he got him on the phone and uh, because Pastor Key wanted to speak with me about some things. And he just talked about how much of a fan he happened to be of this ministry. And I'm thinking at the same time, hey, bro, no, I'm a greater fan of yours. Big man just sit there and get it. And he is going across the country right now having this album release. And he said, Dr. Freeman, I want to come to Spirit of Faith. I said, well, you can come, but it's Faith City Central. <laughs> and uh, he talked to Pastor Tim about it. Uh, they set it up. Uh, there's zero charge to this ministry. There's zero charge to you all as far as tickets are, are concerned. Now, we definitely want to be a blessing because it, how many of y'all know it costs to do what you do? I say, how many of y'all know it costs uh, to do what you do? And so I, I want you to come out and be a part of this uh new album release, and then celebration. And then he's a legend in my time, at least. And uh, some of all of the wonderful uh, 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 compositions that he's put out uh, has allowed me to get through moments of difficult times in, in my life in ministry. So, so come on out and... Uh, show up. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Dee Dee doesn't know music at all. She talking about, that's all you had to do for all of those who know John P. Key music. You know, um, she, she's not that, uh, maybe I should embrace some of my uh, mistakes. 
she she's just not that musically inclined. I'm not, I, I know once you start singing it, I can catch it. Like, okay, I gotta catch the beat. I don't know words to songs. Or, yeah. But if you sing a little bit of it, I can get it. But that let me, let one see, little piece see. I couldn't catch. Okay, how many of y'all caught that? They no music. Yeah. Remember, I was doing that. I was talking to uh, Jonathan McReynolds the other day, and uh, I, I messed up his song so bad. Uh, 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 Y'all may know it. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun uh, moving on. Uh, what's the words? I love the words. Uh, put it up on the screen. Find that. I'm closing chapters. Who said that? I'm turning pages. Glory to glory. From faith to faith. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Oh, she feeling it. Moving see? On. See, that's a mind hey, no music. Hey. She, she feeling that she's saying it. No, no. What's what's uh what's what's uh um um, what did you mess up, though? My, I, 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 I messed up that song so bad. Uh -oh. And uh, what, 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 what is, I know my rear view can't compare to, you can't remember either. Yeah, whatever, I'll get the words later. But we were laughing because, uh, um, I don't know if you know this or not, but he was over at the, yeah, and we were, and we were in, um, I can't tell you, I can't tell you. Uh, let move on. John P. Key is going to be here Friday, and thank you for all of you who volunteered for the stretch conference, uh, and the information concerning stretch. Are we putting all of that together so they can get, yeah. We, we got it uh, going. No. There's no additional information on it. No, you got to say last night. I want that to get out as soon as possible, okay? And then last Sunday, Israel and yeah. Tasha Cobbs. They, they, they even, they, they bossed up my check last week, so I made them get my check. Where's my check? Where's my check? Yeah, bring, bring my check. Yeah. Yeah. Put my check up. Get my get my picture. I, some of y'all had big checks. That wasn't fair. Some of y'all had big checks. So here's my check. It's I, yeah. Get my check. Yeah. Yeah. Uh uh yeah. This is the largest check. Let just let it sit right there. Just let it sit right there. I'm gonna put mine in a frame and hang it up somewhere in my office or at one of the locations. That's, that's, that's the biggest check I've ever written. So this, so far. Um, because my desire is to write one for $1 million. To ministry, to ministry. Because I've written checks for $1 million, but I'm talking about to ministry. Um, I wanted to go over a few things concerning. Is there a, a recap? Uh, just kind of, kind of take me back, put me in last Sunday, because that was bizarre. Uh, I've never been kicked out of a building. Um, they, they, the, the, when the police came out. Do y'all know the police came? Yeah, when the police came out, I thought, I thought they came out. I said, oh, that was nice to assist us for extra security. Because they, they were like the local Howard County police officer. And I was like, oh, man, that's, that's, that's deep. And uh, I said, who, who thought about that? They, they, they looked at me and said, no, no, they're here to put you out. <laughs> I said, you have got to be kidding. No, they were serious. They turned off the mic and said, were you all there when they turned off? Yeah. A lot of them had gone, you know. And, and but then we had to tell you all to leave because they had forklifts and everything in the hallways. 
to, to, I, I didn't know we were beyond our time, and there were so many things going on, and I want to address those things specifically. But, but let me just hang out with you. I promise you, you're going to be taught, uh, but then we're going to reminisce, and then we're going to, we're going to move, we're going to move and on, move and on. So, so play that, and then, and then let's see what you have, because I don't know what we're about to see. Take three. There we Are you crying? No. Oh, I was going to say, be seated. That that uh, that was that was uh, that was. And you going to continue with the same music? <laughs> um. Let me go to Second Peter. Let me let me just start there. Remind you of some things. Second Peter chapter. Number one, and we'll receive tithes and offering uh, inside of what I'm saying today. And if any of you 
uh, have come prepared uh, again because you didn't have uh, time nor opportunity last week to sow your seed. I'm going to give you an opportunity to do that. Uh, give, give me two microphones, one on each side in the event. Go to verse number 11, please. And let's take a look at some of these things. Let me just teach and, and share the way I'm led to. Uh, for so an entrance will be supplied to you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Right? <clears throat> Verse 12, for this reason, I will not be what, class? Negligent. Or one translation says, I think it meet or necessary to remind you always of these things, though you know and are established in the present truth. Verse 13, please. Yes, I do think it's necessary or right that as long as I am in this body, in this tent, or with you, to do what, class? Stir, Stir you up by reminding you. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to remind you of, of certain things. Uh, you, you can just put the microphones in the aisle, you guys don't have to stand there. Just put some stands in in the aisles because they're not going to come right now. I'm just going. I'm just going to be talking. Pardon me. We don't have mic stands. We don't have mic stands. Okay, there's a mic stand, and there's a mic stand. I'm glad we got an offering last week. <laughs> Turn to your neighbor and say, I need to buy my ministry some mic stand. That's, that's, that's different. That's, that's unusual. Okay, yeah, praise the Lord. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because I don't want you guys standing there because I don't know how I'm going to do this. Um, now, now, Peter flat concerning his promises. Where would I find that? First Peter, uh, contextually, I, I'm, 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 I'm incorrect. However, universally speaking, concerning the order and the nature of God, I'm, 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 I'm smack dab on. Uh, because this particular scripture, uh, find this, sweetie. Um, first Peter, second Peter 3 and 9, go there. Second Peter 3 and 9. Go there. Um, now, this is specifically speaking or referring to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right? It says the Lord is not what, class? Slack concerning his promise. How many of y'all know he who promised is faithful. You do know that. Whatever he has promised you, he's good for it. Woo, thank God for that. I said, no, thank God for that. No, I said, thank God for that. Thank you, Father. Thank you. He's nice lack concerning his promise. As some count slackness. But check this out but is long-suffering. He's extending certain things 
or giving to us more opportunity, not willing that any should go to hell, but that all should come to what? So now, uh, guys, specifically, this is referring to the first part of the second coming. First part, the second coming is broken up in two parts. The first part is when he comes for the saints. The second part is when he comes with the saints. Are you clear on that? The second coming is what broken up in two parts. The first part is when he comes for the saints. And the second part is when he comes with the saints. Okay, so some may say, man, we've been talking about the coming of Jesus Christ since I was a kid. That's all you heard. I didn't think I would ever become, be 63 years old. I'll be 63. I thought he would come before I was going to be able to get some. That's what we were thinking back in the day. Man, I want to come before, I want to, I'm, oh, that didn't sound good. Uh, I, that, that didn't come out right. It didn't come out right. Come on, embrace your mistakes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I wanted, I wanted to get married before he uh, was returned. Uh, our children used to say the same thing. And I'm sure our parents, well, maybe not your parents, because they didn't know he was coming. Uh, my parents. <laughs> my great-grandfather was a pastor. Praise the Lord. But because it seems like we've been singing soon and very soon, forever, when is the man coming? And as a matter of fact, the scripture says there will be a great falling away. We're seeing that too. The pandemic played a trick on a whole lot of believers. And a lot of you, for a lot of you, I'm cautioning you, borderline warning you, that you better get your posterior in one of these seats because you are sadly, slowly, and seductively being pulled away from your relationship with the Lord. No, no, no. You're confessing him, but your life is so far from him. And it's subtle. And, and you need this to remind you. You need to be strengthened by the fellowship of the saints. Now, you can do whatever you want to do, and that's pretty obvious. But at the same time, I will not be negligent in reminding you by stirring you up in this capacity. And if you were honest with yourself, the pandemic, the, the pandemic played you. Okay, uh, so... So a lot of times when we are believing God for something, like even relative to my lungs, I was with the doctor on, when did I go, Tuesday? And I heard him for the very first time mention to me considering lung transplant. Well, what does that got to do with what I believe? And, 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 okay, maybe I shouldn't have told some of y'all that because some of y'all, you don't even know how to respond. That was not designed to get you in fear. That was designed to stir your faith up because most people who are told that they need a lung transplant ain't standing up before you like, like I'm standing up before you. And it is, it is, the, and that's why I got up. That's just why I got up. Because you ain't going to talk to this faith man any old kind of way. And some of y'all going to have to stand up against evil reports and look the devil in the, in the eye and say you're alive from the, from the pit of hell. And then pimp back to your seat.
No, you tell them that at home. Don't tell them that here. Because some of y'all bad in here. But you faint at home. Hello? So then, when we hear things as such, it's like we think that the Lord is lack concern. But you got to know in your knower what God has for me. Go to Hebrews chapter number six. Can we just talk a little bit about this word here? Because Wayne Fry told us on Wednesday, did you all join us Wednesday? Oh, thank God for all seven of you. Okay, keep not following along. You're missing out on integral parts of what God wants to share here. He said that there has been a shift in an atmosphere here in this ministry. He said, and when he sowed that seed, portals, portals who said that? There was a portal that opened up over top of his head. Woo, Jesus, we just read that there should be an entrance to your supply abundantly. You, you, you were, you're going to enter into portals of new dimensions of faith, power, and authority. It has already hit this house. I dare you to be bold enough to jump up and shout, I'm in the middle of a miracle. Hallelujah. I'm in the middle of a miracle. Be seated. Glory to God. I dare you to mean it in your heart. No, I dare you to mean that in your heart. And if you were at home, you are not just spectating. You should be participating. And you need to jump up right where you are sitting or laying Get out of your bed right now. I said, move those covers back. Get out of the bed. Jump up. Put that coffee aside. Jump up and shout, I'm in the middle of a miracle. I don't care if your knees are hurt. I don't care if your feet hurt. I don't even care how you feel. <clears throat> I believe if you jump up, you can sit back down healed. Yeah. <laughs> Hebrews chapter number six. He said, he saw this, these portals in this shifting atmosphere. And I, I asked God about these things and I heard this, he said, mismanaging my resources is wickedness. We think wickedness as being sexual sin or lying or, or, or cheating on taxes or, or, or uh, gossiping or backbiting. We think wickedness as being... Um, fornication, all of those. All of that. But the mismanagement of God's resources, you got to see as wickedness. Right. Now, now here's some of the instructions that God gave me on Wednesday to give you. And as we have this recapitulation or this recap of, of last Sunday's celebration, I pray I get drunk again today. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting drunk. Turn to your neighbor and say, man, open the bottle. Open, open the bottle. 
Yeah, yeah, pop the top. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm flowing in this thing. Now, it was supernatural seed given last week. I ain't ever heard that many $30,000 seeds given in any one setting I've ever been in. Now, you had to do something to do that. Okay, forget about the 30. Okay, you're 10, you're 7, you're 3, you're 5, you're 2, you're 1. You did something. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I got too many thoughts going through my head. I got too many thoughts going through my head. Let's calm down. Don't wipe off my makeup. I put makeup on my head. Yeah, yeah. Ah. It's a lot. Now, what you not going to do, what did I just say? Okay, okay, calm down, my friend. What you're not going to do, you're not going to trip in any guilt. You're not going to trip in any kind of condemnation. If you didn't give, okay, so what? Tell the devil so what? If you miss God, if you didn't do what you were supposed to do, and if you tried and you couldn't do it, so what? Matter of fact, I, there were so many people who did and so, um, so many people in the line. I, I can't even focus on who didn't. And if you think I know you didn't, the devil lying to you. I have no clue. I, I, I was, everything was such a blur. <laughs> we talked about that too. I mean, it just went by so fast, right? That you didn't even, you couldn't even take in the moment, especially at the end when everything was just sped up. And it was one five, ten, 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 ten. It, it went so fast. And I thought it to be like really unfair to some of you. And you, you all were getting in line and, and just calling out your seat like, I don't care if I have opportunity to announce or not. I'm, I'm in this. Okay, he is not slack concerning his promise. So whatever you gave, if you were seen or not seen, guess who saw you? I said, guess who saw you? Gonna sit there and wonder about I hope you weren't questioning what I was saying. I hope you, I hope you didn't discount my voice in the equation. I'm just believing that you were in a place that you did everything you could do and you couldn't do anymore or you didn't do anything at all. Guess what? By virtue of being on your, this team, when we won the championship, you get a ring. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. The mark has been demolished and, and the stuff is still coming in. You know, there were some that were not, from what I understand, given in, and that's fine. But who does three million dollars in one offering? Look at your neighbor say, Spirit of Faith, Dash Faith City Central. Now give the Lord a shout. Now if you didn't give a dime of that, guess who did it? We did. So cheer up, little buddy. Don't you dare trip. And don't you dare talk about anyone else who did. And don't you dare talk about anyone else who didn't. I ain't see such and such and such come up. (laughs) 
this, uh, this uh, woman came to this pastor and she was complaining about what people were doing while he was preaching. And uh, he just sat there and looked at her and decided to give her two cups of water. Gave her two cups of water and filled it up almost to the top. And he said, uh, today, sister so-and-so, when service starts, I want you to just walk around the sanctuary two times without spilling a drop of water. So she did that, walked around one time, not a drop. She walked around the second time she came back around and not a drop of water out of the cup. She said, Pastor, I didn't spill a drop. I, he stopped and said, what were the people doing? She said, I can't tell you because I was busy paying attention <laughs> to doing what you told me to do. I couldn't see what anybody else was doing. Turn to your neighbor and say, keep your focus on the right thing. After 30 years, man, I'm getting gooder and gooder at this stuff. <laughs> huh? Time is up? Oh, what'd you say? Not a word. It's not a word, good or good. It is in my vocabulary. No, that was intentional. She said, that's not a word. Thank you, baby. That was so nice. She, she was really looking out for me. I know that's not a word. Oh, that was so nice. Good and good. Turn to you and they said, don't you ever use that word again. <laughs> I can tell you what, you looking good and good every day. <laughs> so don't trip about this offering piece. We did it. No, I said we did it. No, I said... We, in Pastor Dwayne's philosophical disposition, <laughs> la de da -de. <laughs> Hebrews 6. Take a look at it from the NLT. So no one has any, any, any right to feel bad. And if you still want to give by the end of this year, then by all means, do it. I pray you give the biggest check you have ever given before. I was riding with one of the armor bearers yesterday. He was taking me around. He said, Pastor, my wife and I gave $16,000. I said, what? Sixty? How in the world do you give $16,000? I said, was that your loss? By far. I'm going to show you how he did it in a moment. But let's look at this. Look at verse number 10. Verse number 10. Will you read it, sweetie? Mm -hmm. I noticed on last week, I gave you and the children gifts. <laughs> Don't do that. And tell everybody what else. She wanted to give me a gift. I said, no. Okay. Don't, don't do Lord. that. Verse 10. All right. <laughs> For God is not unjust. Oh, my word. He will not forget how hard you have worked for him. For who? Him. For who? Him. For who? Yeah. You worked. When did you work for him? When did you work for him? Pardon me? I can't hear from you smart, intelligent, brilliant people. When did you work for him? Huh? 
Who said in the ministry? Wave your hand. Who said for others? Okay, wave your hand. Huh? Okay, when you worked in ministry, when you've worked for others, you have worked for him. You have not worked for me. You have worked for him. So it's possible that if me forget your work or overlook your work, he who is not unjust will not forget how hard you have worked for him. But anytime you want praise from men, you have that reward. Now, I know throughout the time that I was up sharing and everything was a blur you, and, and, and blur and, and reflecting back in hindsight, you look back and the certain individuals' names were left out of this certain individual's name. My father used to say this, if I fail to call your name, that's why she hates for me to start calling names. She'd say, Mike. She said, because you'll leave somebody out. And my father used to say, charge it to my head. Now, let me tell you when you really have a problem. You really have a problem. Uh, what's your name, London's mom? Celestine. Celestine. Celestine? Celest or Celestine? Celis, spell it like L U C E. That's Celestine. Her, she say hers a little fancier. That's Celestine. Celestine. That's like Deborah and Deborah. I'm thinking about another Deborah. There's a Deborah in this ministry. But it's the same spelling. I'm going to get me another. I'm going to be Mikey. <laughs> That's gay. I don't know if you can say that. That may be offensive. Let me tell you when you really got a problem. Celestine. 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 Celestine, you really have a problem. Let me tell you when you really have a problem. When I call you Celestine and you don't answer. No, no, no. No, you really, no, let me tell you when you really have a problem. You really have a problem when God forgets you did what you did. You want to have a problem? You really have a problem when God forgets. Up until that, it shouldn't be a problem. I have never, what did I just say? I have never needed anyone to call my name for anything. Like, 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 like for instance, watch this. Someone came to me and said, you know, if that's your car dealership, why wasn't it Bannister Freeman Ford? And I said to them, you know what? It really doesn't matter to me if my name is not on the building. As long as my name is on the check. I, I, don't, I don't need my name in lights. Lean over on your name and say, show me the money. Okay, I got a lot to cover. You're finished. For God is not unjust. He will not forget how hard you have worked for him 
and how you have shown your love to him by caring for other believers as you still do. Wow. Our great desire is that you will keep on loving others as long as life lasts. Wow. In order to make certain that what you hope for will come true. Verse 12. Then you will not become spiritually dull and indifferent. Instead, you will follow the example of those who are going to inherit God's promises because of their faith and endurance. If I tell you it doesn't matter to me that my name is called, follow those who through faith and patience haven't, don't, don't let it, don't let it, don't let it bother you. I want to see it in the TPT, back up to 10. Are you getting anything? Okay, while they're turning back to, ten, to TPT, here are some instructions you need to know. Keep saving and sowing like you were. Okay, but watch this. You can slow down. Oh, God, help me with this because I, I need to know this. You got to be led by the Spirit. Normalize your sowing. When, 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 when I say normalize your sowing, I mean, uh, Pete, I can, Pastor Pete, I, Pastor Pistol Pete, I cannot, I cannot, I would love to maintain sowing $300,000 every single time I want to or week or da, da, da. I, I got I to level off somewhere. I got to normalize this. I can't keep sewing at this extended level. Uh, some people, uh, King David, can sew too much be out of desperate, out of what? Out of desperation. And, and when you get into a place of sewing out of desperation, it's fear-based. Now, now, if God tells you to sow perpetually or in perpetuity as such where it's beyond something that you know you can't maintain, then you're going to have to obey God and you're going to have to know it's God. But no one man can make demands on you for you to sow like you have sown. And remember, it took you three years to do that for no, some. No, okay, okay. This fix is, it up, fix it no, up. No, 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 no. Help it's me out It's not even then. trying to fix, fix it up. But how many of you know pastors are going to tell you something like that? Yeah, not, I'm not talking about your pastor. I'm talking about other pastors. How many ministries you think you're going to go to and they're going to tell you, to normalize it, like make sure you hear from God and not try to sow at the level that you have been sowing. They're going to be trying to get more from it. I'm not saying all pastors. I'm not going to say that because, I mean, I know a lot of pastors that, well, are not trying to get anything from you, but I don't know. I have never heard a pastor say, okay, don't give all of that or don't do yeah, that. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, so your sowing, your saving has to be accelerated. Oh, man, you got, you got, you got, you got to understand this. Ah. Most people in the specifically African-American community has shown up to the financial party late. Haven't been taught enough to know how to manage resources. Now, mismanaging resources is wicked. You got to see your mismanaging your resources as being as wicked as beating your wife. So, so when I look at my finances, 
I have to scrutinize how I pull the trigger on any of my spending. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be so careful. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to God. That's what I did about the Porsche. I wanted the Porsche for a while, topless one. I like riding around topless. Okay, I just had to say that for shock value. B a convertible. But although I had the money, I was not allowed to do it. Now, here's one thing you have to also know. Listen to me, please. Everything you have belongs to God. Shout that. Tell him. Say everything. So if it belongs to him, how do you haul off and go spend it when you want to? How do you haul off and go and give it when you want to? So I'm inquiring of the Lord. I'm not just going to haul off and get, go buy something that I don't have. I, I manage my resources. Like the pastors the week before last, they gave me so much doggone money. I'm sitting there, how? Oh, but the seed was in my heart. And I got report that one individual's half of their seed sown, which was their largest offering given, has already been harvested. Shut, I'm in the middle of a miracle. I decree that there's an acceleration on the process of your harvest. Okay, this can't be a bunch of hype for you. You got to receive what I'm saying to you. One of the first people I call is the life insurance man. I ain't calling the car dealership. I ain't calling because the Bible says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. And I discovered what my daughter-in-law had, and I discovered that I can buy $500,000 for $100,000. Now, somebody tells you, if you give me $100,000, I'll give you this $500,000. How many of y'all in? But it may take you some time to get it. I don't care how long it take me. That's better than going buy uh, 10 Louis Vuitton bags that you're trying to look like something with. And we're putting money all in the wrong places. And with all the excess, excess, excess income that I have, psh, I ain't going off and what? No. I, this girl wanted to get me something for last week. I said, nope. No, you're not. Now, I give her whatever she wants because she's had to deal with me. Anybody had to deal with me for as long as she did with me, then you get what you want. <laughs> but, but I don't have to have what I want to make you, make sure you have, because what I'm gonna have brings joy to my life in making sure I'm in the will of God with managing resources. I used to love going to the garage, looking in the garage, like, wow, woo, woo. now, forget the garage. Let me just go to my bank account. Yeah. 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 All my financial portfolio. Turn to your neighbor and say, I want to get excited about my bank account, too. <laughs> if you're not excited about your bank account, you better be listening to me. Shout, everything I, have everything I have belongs to God. Belongs to God. Okay, read it from TPT. For God, the faithful one. The is who one? Faithful. Yeah. Is not unfair. How can he forget the beautiful work you have done for him? He remembers the love you demonstrate as you continually serve 
his beloved ones for the glory of his name. Keep going. Yes, ma'am. But we long to see you passionately advance until the end. Wow. And you find your hope fulfilled. Wow. Go on. So don't allow your hearts to grow dull or lose your enthusiasm, but follow the example of those who fully receive what God has promised because of their strong faith and patient endurance. Okay, now go to the last one I said. Well, did they, they show you NLT? Yeah, they show okay, you. go to NIV. Go to NIV. Is she going to read it one more time? Oh, I don't know. Which one did they show? Uh, they showed the NLT first. Now look at NIV. Read it from Tim, eh? God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help them. Go on. Wait, help him, I think. We want each of you to... Well, you, you want to look down right here to just be closer? Okay. I keep forgetting that thing right there. We want each of you to show the same diligence to the very end so that what you hope for may be fully realized. Okay. We do not want you to become lazy, but to imitate those who through faith and patience inherit what has been promised. Now, 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 if, if there are individuals who become weary as such and they come to you about their weariness, firstly, rebuke them. Secondly, send them back to the reference person. You know, because there are people who will say, do you like what pastor did? You know, even throughout this time. Now, thank God, you know, these discussions I'll have with Didi and Didi only, uh, some discussions I will have with Pastor Dwayne, some. But even with all of this uh, and sharing, but um, how, how, how can I say this, Holy Spirit? I, um, I want to protect you all. I want to protect you in the sense where if someone has become weary and well-doing, you know how to assist them. Okay, okay, because if weary hooks up with weary, we got a problem. If, if, even if you have a weary leader and a weary follower, and that weary follower goes to a weary leader and starts sharing their weariness, Okay, misery. And so I want to protect your seed by protecting your heart. Now, a lot of times, and that's why this agape and, and honor thing has been so prevalent and so necessary because your heart is the what, class? It's the birthplace of the increase. And if your heart fails, which is the number one leading cause of death in America, heart disease, well, that which is in the natural is reflected of that which is in the spirit. So there are a lot of believers who acquire heart disease. And it comes from situations that they feel that certain things should have gone a little more in their favor. Now, I don't know who I'm protecting. Yes, I do. That's a lie. I'm protecting all y'all. Because whether you need this now or whether you need this later, whether you need it for yourselves or whether you need it for others, I'm talking to you. Got it? Now, two other things. I told you to write, everything you have belongs to God. 
Number two, continue to purpose in your heart what God has instructed you to do. <coughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, sometimes my voice seems to get a little raspy because of what they say is going on, that kind of thing. So I just go ahead and dig deep for one. Hallelujah. I get on the phone, D.D. <laughs> Deliberately. And then lastly, because I want to tell you something. Lastly, approach every opportunity in obedience. As a matter of fact, El Presidente Miguel, that's Michael in English, baptize the opportunities that you approach in obedience. Baptize it. Now, everyone on last Sunday made a decision. What did I just say? You either made a decision to give or not to give, come or not come. Everybody made that decision because, and you bless my life so much, man, to see all of those partners in that one place like that. There, there was, there was a, there was a, there was a, an electricity. There was a, there was an energy. Well, there was a charge. What, what was it? There was a synergy, an excitement. Huh? It was charge. E Campus came in and showed all. Um, um, so, so, whatever decision you made, whether to be there or whether to give or not give or whether to come and not give or whatever have you, my point is you purpose that in your heart. Whatever decision you made, it got in your heart first. For people that give $50,000 and $100,000, that come from somewhere. That, that came from somewhere. You had to get that in your heart. Oh, I got to sign off. Sign off. Okay, we walk by faith and not by sight. I see y'all. Yeah, yeah, gone, gone. Gone, because I got to finish something. 